For the first time, the federal government is regulating big rigs, RVs, and tractor trailers in much the same way it's held car makers to rigorous fuel efficiency standards for decades. Circumventing Congress, the Environmental Protection Agency is ordering heavy trucks to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 20 percent and overhaul engine design starting with models built in 2014. While operators will need to spend thousands to upgrade or buy new rigs, the American Trucking Association is on board. The federal government did a really fine job of working collaboratively with, with all the partners in this to come up with what we think is a, is a reasonable and fair rule. <laughs> But smaller owner operators like Robert McLernan say the rules will be devastating. With the cost of the new equipment that they're requiring and the um, oversight of the government in every part of my business, I can't afford to be in business. In a federal lawsuit, he claims the EPA never submitted the regulations to a blue ribbon panel called the Science Advisory Board, as is required by law. The government complies with the law just like the rest of us do. And when EPA violates the law, like it did here, we're going to hold their feet to the fire. The EPA argues it posted all relevant information online, allowing for scientific review. Critics say that's not good enough and contend the rules are less about clean air, more about pushing smaller operators out of the way. This is using the government to be the bully pulpit to put me out of business so they can take over more market share. The rule is about being more fuel efficient. Over the long haul, this has got to be positive for anybody in the trucking industry. While the legal fight unfolds, consumers could be hit hardest by paying more for goods delivered by fewer trucks.